being a gamer all the way back to 1993 I want to say at the age of two well, yeah, born in 89 been playing all since days. two according to my brother and my my, fa my mother father and sister telling me I was playing Mario games since two years old like I just said that uh, this there's, there's only one thing that I'm probably grateful for when it comes to gaming is probably have to go with the music because it's the music it's just made so so well and it's just so creative that it's it's crazy how you know you can have a bad day at work or something's going on with your life and you just kind of bring up something that takes you back to to when life was pretty simple you know it helps you reminisce and just kind of clear your mind on on bullshit that's been bugging you and it's kind of been how I've been not just today, but just sometimes in general. And sometimes, you know, work real hard. You got a family to take care of, going to school, doing all that, doing what uh, a quote unquote man is supposed to do in a modern day society. Uh, you know, just, there's just some days I just want to sit back, relax, and listen to some music. And it just so happens that a lot of the, the music that I listen to that gets me in that mood, it's a lot of my gaming music. You know, really, it could, it could be anything. <sighs> It could be even some new stuff, maybe, as long as it it's made made a certain way. Because music has the ability to to hit people emotionally, and it all does for everybody, especially when stuff is nostalgia and it takes you back. Like there's just times where I'm just sitting down thinking, and I'll play a song from let's say Chrono Trigger or some Final Fantasy game, and it just it just puts me in a zone. It just puts me in this little little spot that just just makes me think and just makes me helps me relax um but i just i love i love all the gaming music it's just really relaxing to me like right now i'm actually listening to a soundtrack or a song from uh chrono cross which i still have yet to play but i found this in the soundtrack that i had had for a while and i've been listening to it and it's just kind of got me relaxed a little bit um, a lot of the tracks from Chrono Trigger I really enjoy what else as I go through my iTunes library even you know what Donkey Kong has a really great soundtrack um, the main one would be from Donkey Kong 1 is uh, Aquatic Ambience that's a pretty pretty good track that, that's, that helps me chill out but yeah guys what's up it's Khan I haven't, I haven't talked to anybody in quite some time sorry if I haven't been making videos as much as I would like to, but no, it's just things things just come up and I haven't I haven't been able to make videos as much as I would like to. But I don't know. One day one day I'll just kinda get into the groove and just kick some fucking ass and take some names like I used to do back in the day. And it's just not only that, I haven't ah, a lot of things factor it, you know, it's like the, all the little YouTube changes that has been coming down is like I don't see YouTube the same anymore and I see a lot of commentators and other people doing little stupid fucking schemes to get popular and just just makes me think is it really that serious something that should be meant as a hobby something to endu enjoy as a pastime you're taking that serious and the money is not even worth it guys let's be serious we're talking fucking pennies 10 cents to even maybe 10 dollars in a month if you're not that popular with a partnership it's not fucking worth it guys it's a lot a lot of times people lie to themselves is like <laughs> they do they really lie to themselves and i think i don't know you never we've all been there before especially if we're all youtube commentators and stuff you see you see what other people are on is like damn i want to try to do what that person's doing so in a way we're all kind of biting off other people's style but don't acknowledge it at the same time and i'm still listening to the same song over and over on repeat i just really like listening to the song right now On a side note, everybody, I've actually been getting into to the Mass Effect series since Part 3 has come out. And even hearing all the news about Part 3's ending not being that great, it kind of makes me not want to even play it. Because 
there's too many times where I've played a game and the ending is just atrocious and just it makes me feel like I've spent too much time or even wasted a lot of time on a game and it just ends like shit. Uh, and that's the problem. You know what? By by worse. One minute. By worse had that problem where they they make a game and it's great throughout and the ending is just just flat. Like it just doesn't it's just not complete. Um they did that with the uh, what was it, the Knights of the Old Republic series. Part one was great. Actually part one actually finished pretty well. But part two which is still a great game, a little bit the same, but still pretty good. And then you go all the way to the end, as as on no, no, the dark side, and the ending is just like, what the fuck just happened? And as a teenager, or well, however old I was when I first played it, I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. But when I really think about it now, I was like, man, the ending fucking sucked. Yeah, so... So yeah, I've been running through Mass Effect 2. I think I've already had like 13, 14 hours on it. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim 2 again. Um, I got it for PC. I had a buddy of mine hook me up. He gave me a copy of the game. So I've been playing that on Steam. Having a blast. It's. I wasn't really into it on Xbox for some reason, but when I play it on PC, I, for, like I said, for some reason, I'm just into it now. I don't know. There, there could be a lot, of, a lot of things that factor into that what's actually going on in, the, in my, my life, you know, things around me and what games are actually out. But right now it's been kind of, I've been kind of laid back on games right now. So I've actually had time to play something. Kind of ignored a lot of other shit. Flag taken. I've, I've, I haven't Flag been playing any FPS lately. I stopped playing Flag Call of Duty. Taken. I stopped playing ah. Battlefield Flag. 3. Because uh, I no longer have a PS3 right now, um, I wound up selling one of my PS3s, and then like three days later, the one that my girlfriend had, I wound up getting a YLOD, so that kind of fucked everything up for us. So we, we still haven't got anything from, uh, or have, haven't got a PS3 yet, I don't think we ever will. Well, I can't say never, or ever. This is, we gotta focus on other other matters but that's so if you guys you know all my ps3 buddies if you guys are wondering where the hell i've been well i don't have a playstation right now and my console of choice is xbox why because of the online the online is not so different from ps3 you say bullshit i don't care if xbox doesn't have exclusives <laughs> none of the ps3 exclusives cater to me or what I like in games. I don't I don't care for them and never have. Um, I've always been a Halo person and you guys know that I can play Halo over anything any day. So I'm not worried about what PS3 has and what exclusives they got. It doesn't mean shit to me. This is kind of a free flow commentary, I guess. All of these recordings were done bit by bit, piece by piece, so in case you guys are wondering why it's like all over the place from one subject to the next, it's because I decided to say something, stop, come back, return, get my thoughts put together, and keep going from there. But yeah, that's just, that's just how I roll. <laughs> I, f I totally forgot how to do commentaries lately. But uh, to get back on to what, YouTube, there's a lot of things I'm thankful for because of YouTube that kind of opened me up to a lot of things. There's a lot of things I've learned from the internet. I, I got a lot of my information from different internet sources, including YouTube. I've met some really great people over the past two, three years. Mostly two because of me being con artist and making a YouTube channel, but a lot of it was before I started doing videos. But like I said, I've met a lot of great people. I've, I I kind of met FPS Kyle, FPS Russia, before he started shooting off his guns and going crazy. I did did something for Play him for take. a game, and it was pretty cool. I got to get his address, phone number. I got to talk to him on the phone for a little while. Get to know him a little bit better as a person. He's a pretty cool guy. Play. Yeah, the, the, the land that he shoots on, that's actually his parents' land that he shoots from. That motherfucker's rich now. He's, uh, uh, I'm be I guess being on TV, shooting his guns, getting pretty huge on YouTube. 
which is cool and you know youtube has its benefits you know that's just one thing i really see that's a cool, really cool benefit is that you could kind of in a way be famous but it's more along the lines of internet famous but potentially you can get get somewhere on tv like g4 or something like especially if it's gaming related you can be be on tv like that but um yeah, in, the, in a way, I I see why people want to start doing commentaries because that's, that's probably the majority of the reason why it has gotten so huge and a lot of people started buying HD PVRs and it's just equipment to record the material because in a way, in the back of their head, they see what's going on for one person. They might see it as it might work for them. A lot of us say, oh, we didn't start doing commentaries for this and this and that reason, but uh, personally, I did it. I did it for that exact reason, but then my motives started to shift and change as I grew as a person and got more involved with different online communities and stuff. I just started, I decided to see things differently and try to do things differently. And that's why I see a lot of people lately jumped on the whole like, fave, subscribe bandwagon. Because they see it works for one person, so they try to do it for themselves, for their own for their own personal gain. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. One douchebag, for example, is White Boy 7th Street. Motherfucker's flat out garbage. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to whatever the fuck, you know, that gay ass shit. And that's just. <sighs> yeah, I got nothing to say on that. But whatever. People are gonna be like, oh, you're hating on dude. Nothing to fucking hate on, man. The poor. The poor, the poor dude thrives and lives off YouTube, and he has to apparently, cause whatever the fucking family reasons. That's that's his personal business. I'm not gonna get into all that, cause whatever. I can't, I can't tell people what to do. I can't tell people what to think. As long, you know, it goes both ways. You can't tell me. I can't tell you. And that could go along the lines with anything, really. I've I've been starting to apply that with a lot of things that I know, especially when it comes to religion or certain specific quote-unquote information like Illuminati and Freemasons and all that other bullshit. Um, I've stuck away from that. I don't want to get involved with that anymore. It put me into a place I didn't want to be. But as far as religion is concerned, people people are going to believe what they want to believe and nobody in this world has a right to tell anybody else what to think or what to believe because I, I, I strongly believe that the reason the world is the way it is is because everybody is entitled it wants to feel entitled to their opinion and wants to be right. And wants to convince other people to think the way they do. And of course religion has a lot of other motives involved. And religion works so well because it's... It's, it's major influence is it's one thing is, is your life is involved into it. That's why it has such an impact on people's lives because it's a life... Life? Life? How you're living and even the afterlife. So that's why it's so strong with people. And that's so why some people feel strongly about it. I don't know if that made sense, but I know what the hell I'm saying. I can't really get my words out the way I want to, just kind of on the go. If I wrote a fucking research paper and just went all out, it'd be great, but I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I'm just mentioning however I feel, but that's just one of my perspectives on religion. So whenever someone comes to you about whatever the fuck, listen accept it let it go just go with the flow just whatever yeah, that's, that's just one thing i've changed because i spent too much time uh the last five ten years you know from high school and on just trying to tell people to think differently and what right do i have trying to influence people on how to think i have no right not at all no one does no one really does there's no there's no point it's just been in the mood to talk, guys. It's, it's just been it's been a long time, and personally, I've I've missed a lot of people on YouTube uh, having our little little conversations, you know, here and there through YouTube comments, or whatever. Because you you people make me laugh. You guys are awesome, <laughs> and I just love that I've met some pretty cool people from all over the world. 
especially the UK, some Australia, New Zealand. I think that's pretty cool. You know, if I want to, then my whole thing is like to be a better person. Kind of like I would, you know, I I gotta know what it's like in other parts of the world because I'm only. I've only encountered what I know is, and that's with American culture. I don't know anything about any other culture in the world. You know, I've gotten a little bit into Japanese, Chinese, um, and of course I'm Mexican, so I know about my Hispanic culture. But but that's that's as far as the extent goes, and I would like to further my knowledge on a lot of people. Man, this this commentary is kind of kind of went all around today I guess but like I said I've just I've just been in that mood to talk hope you guys are listening oh yeah and by the way I have um I have a one year PlayStation Plus uh, subscription for PS3 that I haven't used the code is still good so if you've listened to this commentary first come first serve send me a person private message and I will give you the code first come first serve so if you've been a true true uh true awesome human being to con artists and been listening to my commentary since day one you're gonna listen to this one all the way through just for the hell of it because you're fucking cool so you get that code so just private message me and you get that code from the kindest of my heart <laughs> kindness of my heart i can't talk i've noticed i've done that a lot not being able to speak properly I want. I really want to get back into live commentaries because that's that's just one of the things I really had a blast doing because I felt like I I was able to add a little bit more creativity as I went and a lot of it too is like when I think of something really good to do I need to act on it then and there because if I hold off and don't do it right away I'll never fucking do it like there's so many things I planned and wanted to do like uh, for Halo for instance or Killzone when it was good and it's like I didn't do it so I never fucking got to it and that's my problem you know if I think of something good like right now which is in the mood to talk and listen to some Chrono Trigger music then you know I, I fucking acted on it and I did it and that's the way it should be uh, I, I, <laughs> I have a bad habit of you know procrastinating certain things especially when it comes to school but when it comes down to it I gotta crack down and get the fucking job done I get it done and I actually do it pretty efficiently which I'm kind of proud of I turn a negative into a positive which is kind of cool kind of cool it is cool motherfucker it is cool I had a couple buddies of mine keep bugging me to to talk about the Illuminati but I'm still waiting for a good day to to bring that up on my personal opinion about it I don't know I might just talk about it now I might do it later I don't fucking know I still want to get that video done it's just gonna be me sitting on a chair listening to some music and just rambling on and on oh and that's another thing I regret not being able to get into a dual commentary or tri triple quadruple quadrilateral why why triple no scope fucking commentary with anybody because for this whole time i've been doing one man commentary it's just me myself and i talking to myself that's all i've ever done and i've never never expanded beyond that and i was i still would like to there's still some people i want to get in the video with Typic, Typic Z from Xbox come to mind, uh, my buddy on Xbox, fucking uh, Bolin comes to mind, Armageddon God comes to mind, fucking whoever else, man, that I watch, you know, if you guys want to do, do a commentary with me, bring up a subject, or just want to get into some random bullshit, just let me know, and we'll, we'll get that done. I don't know. It's just I need to I need to get my back my uh, my ass back in gear into the YouTube commentary scene, and not for any other means. Just because I want to, I miss it. I miss talking to everybody, and I just feel I, I just feel like if I could have just went a little bit more than I did, I could have been in a better spot with YouTube. It had nothing to do with money, but just meeting the right people and doing certain things with the right people could have could have got my foot in the door for other for other things you know and like i mentioned earlier that's just one one cool benefit with youtube like i said is you know you get that internet famous style thing and you could potentially get 
get in contact with with the right people. You might get on TV. You might you might be real real famous. I don't know. I just I kind of I kind of like kind of like the fame. Kind of don't at the same time. Uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot of our motives has has to do with money because that's how we live in this type of type of. No, well, it's just this type of country. You know, we're not in a third world country where money doesn't matter and you have to try to survive, keep your family alive, that type of thing. But money, money is the root for all of our decisions. So I can kind of see why people get into the whole YouTube bandwagon right, right, thing because of the whole money aspect. But like I said, you don't you don't make that much. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth the time and effort. I've seen too many younger kids, 15, 16, trying to live the fucking, what was it, Optic Predator, Predator Dream, or whoever fucking machinima commentator out there trying to do their thing. You, just, you, can't, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing what other people do. It's, you gotta do you. You always gotta be original, be unique. Create your own type of shit. You can never, you'll, you either you do, you can go off by doing what someone else does, but you won't go as far. You might, but it won't last as long at the same time. And when it, when you, when you create your own shit, it's, it's just that, it's just better that way. Kind of wish I got into, to making music or learn some type of programming skill to, to develop a game because they still have a lot of great fucking concepts that I need to throw down. That'd be pretty cool. Man, this Call of Trigger music makes me fucking think. Like, it just really puts me in a zone. I know you guys are listening, but like I said, send me that private message. I will message you back a full working code for PlayStation Plus for a whole year. I will do that. So, I don't know what I want to throw, uh, what gameplay or whatever I want to throw on here. I might just put some random shit or a combination of like five different games. Who the hell knows? I, I can upload longer than 15 minutes now. I think I could run it at 30 or something like that, but, but I think I'm I think I'm done. I think I kind of got across what I wanted to get off my chest for a while. Well, I listen to this Chrono Trigger music, but uh, I will I will catch you guys in another day. Just keep in touch, guys. Keep in touch. Send me a private message or leave a comment on some other video. Just, just talk to me. I don't, I don't care about that shit anymore. I, I've never been in it for the views. I might, you know, I might fucking line. I might have in the beginning, like everybody else. You know, we all do it. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. There's no point. I'm pretty, I'm a pretty truthful, honest guy about a lot of things. So. Yeah, guys, just hit me up whenever, you know, that, that's pretty much it, so it's con, y'all have a great day, I'm out of here.